What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So today I am reviewing um, Truth or Dare? No, um, what is it? It's Ready or Not, that's what I'm reviewing. I'm keeping my voice down real low because it is close to midnight. I just got back from a Halloween party for work and yeah, it was a pretty cool party. I forgot to take any photos for Instagram, which sucks, but overall we ended up playing cahoots, which was great, eating food, uh, other games and stuff, um, and then watching Ready or Not. I also got this Crazy Rich Asians DVD um, because... I didn't win any of the prizes for any of the competitions or games or whatever, so I got the complimentary DVD, which is great. Anyway, nonetheless, I'm here to review the movie, so let's get to it. So the movie, really or not, I don't have much to say about it because it's one of those movies where you, you just watch it for the sake of watching, I'm not really looking too much into it or anything, but the movie is decent. It's not really great and it's nothing brand new. But it's also entertaining. There were times where I was kind of bored, I will not lie. But overall, there were moments where I was laughing. There weren't really any moments where I was scared. And I was also laughing because the person who was sitting next to me screamed a few times and I couldn't help but find that funny. This was actually the first horror film I ever saw in a cinema. Um, that I can recall at least. I don't think I've seen any other horror films in a cinema. Um, but... Yeah, it was alright to say the least. The acting was fine, the music was decent, pretty standard. Everything about this movie was really standard, but it was done well. So there's no real way to hate on the movie for what it did. The movie as well is also well paced. I was afraid it'd take a really long time to get to the whole um, sequence of events, which you can tell what happens by the trailer where they try to kill the wife, or the bride I should say. Um, but it didn't. And then they tra tra changed between locations at a good enough pace. Everything happened at a really well-crafted pace. If I wasn't tired, I probably would have liked the movie more. But my favorite part of the movie is easily the ending. It is so funny. And that's one of the things that this movie does so well. It has a really good sense of humor. But having a good sense of humor doesn't always work in a horror film. And at times that sense of humor kind of downplayed the situation. And yeah, the, the premise itself is really ridiculous. The movie, the writers know that. So we know that as moviegoers. And it's just good to see a movie aware of that in itself. And they definitely are aware of that in the movie's ending. Um, I'm not gonna spoil specific details of it, but it is really funny and really well done. I couldn't help but laugh several times throughout the ending as a whole. So overall, this is a quick brief review of the movie. Would I say go watch it in cinemas? You know, if you're into comedy, yes, I'd say go watch it. If you're into horror, don't really bother. I'm just waiting till it comes out on DVD online or whatever. Um, overall, I'd give this film 6 out of 10. I'm not really going to go into like 6.5 or whatever anything anymore. I'm going to try to be as general as pop possible. So if I say 6, it's somewhere between a 6 and a 7. Alright, so the movie's a 6 out of 10, ready or not. Um, the premise itself is ridiculous but unique. The ending kind of predictable but it is well crafted and entertaining for the most part. 